Erdig Hall is a Grade 1 listed National Trust property in Wrexham, Wales. In 1682, Joshua Edensbury was appointed High Sheriff of Denbyshire. It was to be the making of Erdig, but unfortunately, at Joshua's expense. He selected a dramatic location on an escarpment a mile south of Wrexham, and a year after his appointment he commissioned Thomas Webb, a Freemason, to build him a new house on the site. Work began in 1684 on the house that was to be nine bays wide, but Joshua had overextended his finances and by 1709 was declared bankrupt. In 1716 he was forced to sell Erdig to John Meller, who subsequently bought the mortgage on Erdig from Sir John Trevor. John Meller, a successful London lawyer, set about refurbishing the property and by 1720 had expanded it north and south and added two wings. John never married and therefore enlisted the assistance of his sister's son Simon York to supervise the completion of his vision for Erdig including the delivery and installation of his valuable new furnishings. He was later to bequeath the house to his nephew on his death in 1733 thereby establishing an unbroken line of ownership that was to last for almost 250 years. Philip York I inherited Erdig in 1767 and the inheritance he received from his uncle meant he was able to marry Elizabeth Cust, daughter of Sir John Cust of Belton. Both his inheritance and Elizabeth's dowry helped him fund a few changes to Erdig, including a saloon library and new furnishings. He also financed the recasing of the west front of the house in stone and added a new kitchen, domestic offices, a servant's bell system and a stable yard. A tour of the house below stairs tells of the York family's unusually high regard for their servants through a collection of portraits, photographs and verses of the people who lived and worked on the estate. In the staterooms above stairs there is a fine collection of 18th century furniture and other treasures, many of which originally belonged to John Meller. Following the death of Philip York II in 1922, the house began to decline as income diminished and the staff were laid off. Philip's successor, Simon York IV, failed to install electricity, running water, gas or a phone and he became somewhat of a recluse. Whilst causing damage to the property, this period of neglect ensured that Erdig remained remarkably unaltered. In March 1973, the last squire, Philip Scott York, a bachelor, gave Erdig to the National Trust. This followed the collapse several years earlier of a shaft from the nearby Bersham Colliery coal mine. This caused subsidence under the house of about five feet, which seriously affected the structural integrity of the house to the extent that without suitable underpinning it would have literally fallen into ruin. However, with the financial compensation received from the National Coal Board of £120,000, the building was strengthened and stabilised. The National Trust subsequently sold 63 acres of Erdig Park for just under a million pounds in order to use the funds for the necessary restoration work on the house, which was completed in 1977. Philip died in 1978, but as the last squire of Erdig, he lived long enough to see Erdig return to the former glory of the home he remembered as a child. The 1,200-acre landscape pleasure park was designed by William Emmis and Erdig's walled garden is one of the most important surviving 18th century formal gardens in Britain, with around 100 cultivars accredited with the plant heritage as a national plant collection. They contain rare fruit trees, a canal, a pond and a Victorian parterre. The arrangement of alcoves in the yew hedges in the formal gardens are also believed to be an early form of a bee bowl.
William's landscaping work involved the removal of a section of Watts Dyke near the house. In 2018 this was excavated by the Archaeological Trust who found that most of the ditch and some of the bank of this linear earthwork survived intact. Handing over the house and estate to the National Trust, Philip stipulated a condition of the sale that nothing was to be removed from the house. He is quoted as saying, My only interest for many years has been that this unique establishment, for which my family have forgone many luxuries and comforts over the seven generations, should now be dedicated to the enjoyment of all those who may come here and see a part of our national heritage preserved for all foreseeable time. A famous and popular location in Wrexham, Erdig continues to gather history lovers and walkers in their droves throughout the year. <laughs>